Many years ago, it means around uh, 13 years ago, we established this school as a community school. Especially, we target for indigenous people who live in this area. The drop dropout rate was very high. Because of that reason, we propose to our donor to establish a community-based school as a primary. And it was a 10 years long project. Our 10 years long activities was complete and now it is using as a community development center. But because of the earthquake disaster, it was damaged and this right hand side, our traditional building is now useless. But the other building, similarly we propose for health activities and we run as a self-health post providing service in this community especially those deprived and underprivileged group and we are providing free service we got donations from germany according to our contract and mou later activities was phased out but yearly we are using this building as a community building and providing medical camp, health service, and other awareness which are related to education, health, drinking water, community development activities uh, like this. So it was especially focused on Kumal people. The Kumal people, they lose their traditional job. They're, they were fisher and they were potter. But now those job is collapsed because of the migrations and then township development. And now they want to change themselves according to the new modern society. Because of that reason, we are providing them awareness campaign, knowledge, how to be good skillful manpower, how to use their skill in the market, and similarly, how to provide education to their children. We, we focus on especially for the education because there was a huge dropout challenge but now after this project everybody understood themselves education is very important they have to send their children in the school and they can get the education after the educations they can use their skillful men skillful knowledge in the society so it was very successful story behind this project but now we didn't have a regular fund to run it but we are proposing to our donor to run the health camp especially this health post as a community health post as a mobile clinical service. That is our special target. Thank you. So Ramesh, you propose uh, our sub sponsors they to support this building as a healthy clinic center. Yes. And then this one is for community development center. Yeah. So what exactly community development center will do for these Kuma people and what are we going to do in this healthy clinic center? Yeah, this building was a, as a primary school building before. Uh, now we merged two schools, just 10 minutes behind there is a one high school and uh, they developed the primary sector as well. Because of that reason we decided to merge these two schools. Now this building is using as a community development center means they have a public meeting and uh, some kind, different kinds of training as a skillful training or community you know, related issue like drinking water, health and other you know the uh, local community development issues we are discussing and regularly they have a meeting they have a mother groups they have a, a local 
Kumal, you know, community, they have their own group, and other Dalit and other, other communities similarly. And this is now uh, not that much using because we have to renovate. After the disaster, earthquake, you have seen all the, you know, the, our modern stone-made buildings. It was almost collapsed, but still we have it, and we want to keep it. We don't want to collapse it, because it will be one of the examples to teach our new generation what happened after the disaster, how it was collapsed. Because everybody they just can't see uh, newspaper or you know the, all the documentary, but they don't have any you know the proof how it was damaged, right? So we want to keep it as a history, number one, and number two, this building we use as a sub health post building. Now we want to uh, change our program as a mobile clinical health service. Regularly they will provide fixed service from here, but. Uh, especially in these kinds of, you know, the community, who is very near by the township, the old age people, our senior generation, our senior citizen, they are really victimized because they can't get vehicle as they need. Because everybody, you know, that is driving for the far distance. And they can't walk, you know, the, in, in the you know, township because they are old. And we don't have any health or any different kinds of uh, service from the government. So uh, are you talking about this civil service focus for the senior group? Yes, senior and then the especially women, uh -huh. because who is unable to go to the township to get health care and the children, right? And other one, you know, the history of this village, uh, they didn't believe, they didn't trust to the health service. They trust to the astrology yeah. because they are traditional people, right? Mm -hmm. And we change them. We request them to be here. And health is one of the major important issue. And you have to know about the modern society. Because of that reason, we want to keep it ongoing. Then later, when they need emergency service, our you know the team they can provide them. They can they can call to our center, and immediately our uh, health skillful manpower they can go to there. That is that is our proposals, our program, and we want to continue this service when we will get donor. Uh, now we see this, uh 旧的校舍呢，它以前在二零零二年一直到二零一五年都是 Little Star 一个小学。那地震之后呢，我们把这个小学跟后面大概十分钟路程的一另外一间高中做合并。那这个小学的校舍我们继续把它保留。一方面，像饶秘书讲的，他要把它做一个历史的见证。我们以前用古老的方式建筑的房子，事实事实上经过大地震以后，它并没有受到很大的损坏。所以古老的东西并不是一定是不好的。然后第二个的话呢，就是这边的村民，我们现在 propose 这些学校呢，可以把它当做他们村民集会或者是呃训练的地方。那但是这个是我们希望能够把这个旧的建筑重新活化使用，但是我们还是需要有呃赞赞助者，他们第一个还是要协助把这个旧的建筑里面还是有一些需要重新整修，然后我们就可以把移交给村民的管理委员会，让他们比较 regularly 去做一些。村民的，不管是说卫教，或者是他们自己固定的集会，或者是有一些婚丧喜庆，还有节庆的时候，他们可以在里面做一些庆祝的活动。然后，另外你可以看到这个后面这一栋比较新的这个建筑呢，是在二零零五年的时候，同样由 Little Star 的这个德国的 NGO 协助建成的。因为他们，我们在这个村庄叫库马村，他们是非常非常传统的，他们只相信巫医。他们不相信现代的医术，所以他们以前呃常常就是因为巫医的治疗，造成说治疗的延误，然后小孩子的存活率非常低。所以我们提除了提供给他们教育之外，另外在他们医疗保健上面，开始让他们了解说怎么样去照顾他们的生活，还有就是现代的医术，事实上也是可以保持他们的生命的延续。那我们经过了十年的努力。这个库马村的人民，他们已经可以接受说教育是非常重要的，所以他们持续送他们的小孩去上学。然后对于呃，就是保健这方面，他们也了解说，生病是要去看医生的，不能随便去就是吃草药或者是去看巫医。但是因为在二零一五年的大地震之后，这个两个建筑就。因为那个我们的 donor 原来的 Little Star NGO 的 donor， 他们把他们的资金转移到其他重建的方案，所以这边就变成荒废下来。那我们从二零一五年的七月一直开始，就是想要找说有赞助者能够帮忙，说只要能够重新去装修，或者是说修缮一些他们内部需要的水电啊，或者是这边旧校舍。
它里面有一些地板，还有窗户修缮完成以后，事实上它就马上可以使用了。所以并不是说所有的地方你都要重新建造一个新的地地点或者是房舍，他们才能够开始新的生活。这两个。就已经是现现呃，就是现成可以使用的。那我们也是希望说，借由这一次的这样子的介绍，让大家了解说，在尼泊尔乡村的需要的话，并不是说你提供很多很现代的东西给他，譬如说有很多老年人。妇女或者是小孩，这些乡村的人，他们不太会长途跋涉去村呃去城市，那他就是需要像有这样子当地的卫生所，或者是当地的小学，或者是当地的村民的呃集会中心，来共同去呃讨论说他们怎么样去让他们自己的家乡更好。那这是当地居民所需要的。